there ain't no stopping us Fly without boarding pass Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast Call me a shooting star Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today I thought I would share a video doing products that I purchased that I haven't really tried out or I have uh, tried and wanted to share with you guys my thoughts and you can see how they perform. So if you guys are interested in sticking around and doing a kind of sort of get ready with me and sharing some new products, keep on watching. To come on here and share some products with you guys so you can see how they perform or hear my thoughts on them and what I'm thinking so far you know like as I apply them. This is the first impressions but I don't want to quite fully say it's a full-on review for some of them because I'm just trying them out now and I don't feel like first impression you can really give a good enough review so I can get back with you on one of one of my videos that's you know my what I'm liking and not so much and maybe share with you so I have not primed my face yet because I have had this for a while and I have not tried it and I do have good luck with the hard candy um, primers. This is the hard candy sheer envy hydro prime primer lotion. It's a 12 hour moisture three in one. It moisturizes, it primes and perfects. And I believe the hydrating primer lotion. I think this is the one that has coconut water in it. Does it not? Yeah. It revitalizes tired skin and uh, quenches thirsty skin with coconut water. This one might be compared to my hangover uh, from Too Faced because the Too Faced one has coconut water too. The only difference is this one doesn't say it doesn't have any silicone base. I think this does have silicone. This one uh, does not. It's silicone free. It even has it on the bottle. It's like a gel. There it is there. Right on the bat, I can smell a chemical smell to it. Almost feels like the Smashbox photo finish. Have you ever tried that? It almost feels like that to me. And it's probably because of the silicone to it. It doesn't feel the same as the Too Faced, the texture wise. Now, the eyeshadow palette I'm going to use, and I bought this set, is the Chloe Morel Morellos from Cat is it Cartier from London? And it's her whole set. There's like, you get an eyeshadow palette, you get an eyeliner, there's a mascara, and there's a lippy in here. I'm not sure if I want to use the mascara though. I might have to try it another time. I have so many mascaras open. I mean, I have this one here I'm going to be showing and sharing with you guys. I got a little deluxe of the new Urban Decay Troublemaker. And then I have two other ones that are open. So I don't want to open up a fourth one because then that's getting too many. Here's all the goodies you get in the in the kit. And for $49, I don't think that's bad at all. I mean, I probably will give this eyeliner a try because I am needing to uh, work into a new eyeliner. Of course, I love lip products. So this one here is called Sydney. It's a pretty neutrally pink color, so we will try that. Here's the palette. It is beautiful, guys. It is a beautiful, beautiful palette. My lighting is not going to even do it justice at all. It is beautiful. There's some greens down here. There's the burgundies up here, neutrals, purples, uh, smoky grays, smoky grays around here. It's a little bit of everything. I We'll see how they perform, and if they perform good, then yeah, I think this might be a palette I would highly recommend. This shade here that's called Topless, and it's more like a uh, white shade. I'm going to just put that all over on my eyelid to set my primer and get things ready. This shade Nini, which is a soft taupe brown okay nice soft and it's a matte shade there's mattes in here and shimmers in here all right i've never tried their shadows neither so let's see how this works now i'm going to work it in my crease and work it up a little bit i might use it as my transition shade i think well that's applying applying nice 
a dark brown black is the best I can describe it. But it's called Morion. It's right here. And put it on the outer edge and work it in a little bit in the crease for the part like where I want to do like a little definition. Let's get into the greens. I love my green colors. I'm going to go ahead and take Soul. That's a beautiful, more deeper green. It's almost like an emerald green color. That's called Soul. What I'm going to do with that is put it in the center on my eyelid. This one's more of a shimmer. It is kicking up a little bit. Those are never a deal breaker for me. I'm not, I'm not seeing no fallout either. I'm going to go into Chartouse. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's a beautiful, very light lime green color maybe. And I'm going to work that here. Work it from in, in the inner part and in. Go ahead and dip more into Soul, the darker green, and kind of, and work it in just a little bit more. Uh, Nini again, that uh, light brown shade. Work that back in here a little bit. Back into that real dark uh, maron, maron, something like that. How do you pronounce that? And uh, I'm going to work it the whole way over this time. I think if I would have used something more wet, because I'm not feeling like exactly how I wanted it to look, because they do seem pretty nice and everything, but um, it's, it didn't give me the, the coloring that I wanted. But we'll get this whole look put together and it might turn out pretty good. But a little bit of that topless up on here to brighten it up a little bit. I'm going to do the eyeliner. It's called uh, the Cartier, the Cartier London Fierce, Fierce Flicks. Now I'm not sure if it's a something permanently they have or if it's, you know, just in this kit. But let me just say, I had a fight with this. Me and, it, me and this eyeliner had some rounds. <laughs> Like, I literally had to fight with the thing to get it out of the paper. The tip looks like a real nice, good, you know, felt tip. Let's see how well that works. Whoa. That's some black eyeliner. All right. Oh. Wow. Let's just hope it dries and it doesn't, um, you know, spread anywhere. Because <laughs> some of them can do that, you know, the wet ones. But I like that. Hmm. We shall see, guys. We shall see. So this mascara, I've used it before. I'm going to be honest. The first time I used it, I didn't really like it. And it's the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. It is to um, give you super fat, super long, and, well, sex-proof. Like, sex-proof, really? Such a tiny thing. Like, this is all the bigger. I got notified. Somebody was sharing something where you could get, like, this small. So, I don't know. Here's what the bristles look like. They're really tiny, pointy looking bristles. Another weapon for mascara. And I don't think I really liked this. But this is so hard to work with. You know what I'm saying? Because it's such a small little tinky wand. I mean, really? They should have given me something better than that, but they didn't. 
I mean, this could be why I'm having a struggle. But seriously, Urban Decay, how am I supposed to try this product out with this little inky dinky thing? To me, it feels like a drying mascara. But can I really give it a good review? Being as it's this small, could it be drying because of the small container? There is the one compared to the other. Yeah, total dud, guys, for me. I mean, it could be the small little dinky sample. I don't even want to bother. <laughs> it's it's as as as. Mary Glitzy would do. Yeah, total dud for me. Don't like it. You know what? I'm not going to put the other mascara on from the Katia. I'm going to do a Tarte one because if I do that, I can't give a good review on that one either because I'll be putting it on top of this mascara where I already know I like this mascara, but if it flops, I know it's going to be because of Urban Decay. I have used this twice now. And I can tell you, I have really liked it. It is the uh, Physician's Formula Instant Insta Ready Full Coverage Concealer. It's Insta Filler Technology. It features one of the little, one of those little um, sponge applicators for your under to apply it. And I do like it that way too. It's nice. It's like a little, little cute little teardrop sponge applicator and it's worked really nice now some have compared it to the mac concealer but it almost it has that pump i think that's why a lot of people were comparing it to that because it's like in this uh, little container and then it has a pump to it that might even be too much it is hard and i know a lot of people complained about that with the mac one it's so hard to put very little down so it is i'll put some here that's how we'll work with it I'm gonna go down here too and just work it around. It's this is this sponge applicator is quite perfect to get in them little areas that you need. You can see the one side compared to the other side. It does cover really good. Like it's a nice good full coverage concealer. And from what I've had with it, it hasn't settled into any fine lines or anything like that. Really nice concealer. I have really liked it a lot whenever I've been using it. And this is my third time. So foundation, I am going to share with you my Fiona Styles Luminous Finish Foundation. And Fiona Styles, the only way you can get her now, because I got this at Ulta. And Ulta was having some sales and everything on her stuff. And then I found out later that uh, they weren't going to carry her anymore. But you can still pick up her products on QVC and on her site. And this is one of the ones that was another recommendation from um, Emily, Emily Noel. But this is her Luminous Foundation. I've used this several times and I can definitely tell you guys it's a really good foundation coverage. Now this brush here, I don't think I'm liking it too much. It cover, it does the coverage nice, but it's so flimsy. It is crazy, so it's making me a little nervous. I got it in my boxy charm. It's from the company Crown Brush. I think I would say this is more of a medium to full coverage. But look at the finish, guys. It goes a gorgeous finish. I like that. And this is the luminous one. She does have a matte one, so if you're more of a matte uh, foundation person, then she does have a matte one, but I, you know me. So I got the luminous one. I'm going to try a new brush that I got in my kit. Here it is. In my boxy charm and it's from the company it's 
I was from the Royal and Lankel just to chisel out and carve out and contour. Another product, the Fiona Styles Mistake Free um, Mount, uh, Makeup. It's the multi divisional color palette. I don't even know why I still have it in the box. I might as well just get rid of these now. It has um, blushes, highlights, bronzer, and this was also on sale. It sold really quick, sold out really quick. And then there's a color in here that looks like I could use as a contour, which is the one right in the middle here. So that's what I'm going to use. Holy crap, a moly. Oh, good lord. Well, it doesn't look too bad. This brush is nice, but mm, I'm thinking that color I'm not going to like too much to use as a bronzer, so I'll never do that again. I mean, for now, I'll just stick with it. And... It doesn't show in the camera, but to me, I can see it looks more of that orangey color that I'm not sure. I see I don't like the orangey colors. Brush I'm going to try that was in my boxy charm, and this one is it's a pointed blush brush. So it's this here, this pointed blush brush. I'm going to use this pink color on the end here, and it's kind of a nice, I don't know if I want to say bright, it is kind of a bright pink, I guess. Better tap in that baby gently. After seeing what that other one did, oh my gosh. Hmm. It's a pretty color though. Yeah, it's a pretty, very pretty color. This is a nice brush. It almost reminds me of the Real Techniques brush that's um, shaped in this way, like a rounded shape to it like that. That's what it reminds me of. I think the highlight, I'm going to use the more lighter highlight. That one's more, this one looks more bronzy or golden. This one's more lighter. So I'm going to use this one on the end. It's a more lighter highlight. I'm going to use my little mini, my little mini me fan brush. So her stuff's good. I just don't understand why, but you know how it is. They do that in these places. They'll either carry a brand or carry an item and they discontinue it or they quit carrying it. Yeah, see that's a really nice highlight stippling brush and I usually mold it all together. Kind of mix it like together. I got this setting powder in my boxy charm too. <laughs> all this stuff in my box. Hey, might as well use it, right? This is from the company Studio Makeup. It's the company Studio Makeup. I'm not sure you can see around there, but Studio Makeup. And it's an HD finishing powder. Silky setting powder with a light shimmer. Oh. To help blur the appearance of imperfection and pores. Twist this part. It's like one of the ones where you twist it. And I just tap a little bit in my lid. And from what I noticed when I used it yesterday, it seemed really nice. Lastly, my lip. Now I think this is a liquid velvet lipstick. The doe foot applicator. Oh, I smell them. Hmm. Not much of a smell. Maybe maybe there's like a chemical smell, but not nothing drastic. I didn't even do a liner. I should have, but I went over with time now because I got some things I gotta do. Feels nice. I like the feel. That's my final look with everything. I think it turned out really nice. Mostly everything I liked just for except the mascara. The mascara was the biggest flop. So all right, beauties, if you liked this video and this was helpful, or if you have any questions about anything, let me know down below. I can do my best to help you out. I will have updates on some of the products and everything. Uh, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much. 
And I would also always, as I say, put a smile on my face. If you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And also there's a bell right next to it. And that bell will help notify you by email of when my new videos are uploaded and ready to watch. So go ahead and click both of those. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything, the support, love, and outpour. I appreciate it. I love you guys very much. Mwah. Bye.